Yeah, it was good YouTube. Back with another one. And uh, you see the title of today's uh, video. So with that, you already know what it is. Use the code RONIN10. And that will be your passport to the A-game lifestyle. Much love to the A-game family and A-game nation. And with this, it will lead you to a lifestyle of vitality, energy, strength, and libido. And today's topic, we're talking about problem solving gone wrong. This will let you know there's a and going into it. My previous video, I talked about being the way of the fixer. In this video, you're going to find out if you're the F, the head F-19 in charge. Which salute to the Crimson Cure who came with that term, which means F Negro. I'll let you fill in the blanks. So, using the four P's, let's talk about problem solving going wrong. We're going to the number one provision. That's you, uh, Captain Saber Hose, or Captain Saber Bros, which is not that much different. If you got guys who are abusing their masculine light out here clout chasing, looking for a cheap cosign. If you're out here using a lot of nonsensical propaganda to make a, a profit off the problems of our people, you're not problem solving, you're creating problems. That's why there was a definitive line that we established here in the A-game family. Either you're a content creator or a conflict creator. Conflict creators, they show a lot of problems. But do they rarely find initiative and means to solve said problems? I have been in this space close to 15 years. If YouTube has been around since 2007, it's been a good minute. Now, in that time... I have seen problem solvers get pushed away because too many individuals were profiting off the problems at hand, especially today. We have these panel possums who will sit online for 8, 12, 24, 36 hours, exacerbating the problems in our community, which destroy our appearance. You have individuals who will show up online drunk. If not drunk off alcohol, they're drunk off themselves. Or they're drunk off their illusion of success. <clears throat> you have individuals who will uh, look to promote the accountability crusades. I will not say gender wars because, again, someone needs to leave in the comment check, uh, section to and salute to the Crimson Cure who posed this question. What do you win if you win the gender war? All this is is accountability crusades. Where individual, individuals are here playing accountability dodgeball, pointing the fingers at each other, abusing stats to promote confirmation bias to no avail. Again, when it comes to that, you have to understand that if you're one of the F-19s in charge and you're online most times or off, you're one of the head F-19s in charge. Out here with piss poor... Um, communication skills in the military I learned about uh, escalation of force and unfortunately on in this what used to be this uh, boneyard space you had individuals who were empowered by testrogen it's an illusion uh, it's a, a fictional uh, element of what makes maggles maggles and a maggot is a male gynocrat. And you have individuals who will come from either the halls of misinformation, uh, many points of academia, or individuals who are, are likable and intelligent. But with their application of the information they have or they choose to withhold for, for a nominal fee, these individuals who... Um, are not problem solvers. They use problem to abuse people to their benefit or their entertainment or both. So that's one of many ways we're talking about using problem solvers wrong. As uh, far as the provision, again, before I finish off, 
with the provision you have these Jonathans, you have these sugar daddies, you have these uh, internet weenies who will try to finance procreation. It's under the guise of problem solving because, yeah, she needs help. But see, that's where you're a slave to your foreskin and not a firm student or master of your foresight. When you waste your resources and you ignore the uh, tenets of time, toil, uh, trouble, and ignore the threat level, you're not problem solving in the way that benefits you. Actually, when you execute these things poorly, you will have individuals who will see you as a problem and solve you in the best way possible. Whether they uh, financially grape you or you'll have individuals who will eliminate you from the board. Whether it's financially, personally, spiritually or emotionally. If you're not a problem solver, you'll be a problem that will that begs to be solved. That's how that works as far as the provision part. Now, as far as the protection, online you will have internet weenies, <coughs> uh, goofies, who will do what they can to promote, protect, and provide for the gynocracy. Anything that is governed by the the protection and promotion of Punani politics. You will have these individuals who will get out here and start internet beefs. They'll uh, be masculine obstructionists. You will have these uh, white knights who will get out here and start internet arguments over the access of avatars or women online that they will never get access to or if they happen to she isn't worth the time these individuals will waste their resources they'll waste their, uh, they'll destroy their credibility they'll even destroy themselves in the pursuit of panties or <laughs> pennies let's say the piss poor uh, level of communication or adherence to their team. Will set them in the sights of. People seeing them for who they are. And they'll execute their problem solving skills. To minimize their infection. On and offline. You have individuals who. Do not use properly, uh, problem solving skills. They tend to. Lose their resources. See, that's nature's way of balancing things out. In many ways, you got people who do have access to wealth or many of the things of the 10 life values. But see, the thing is, they're never able to solve the problem as to why they can't obtain or retain peace of mind, order, and a sense of structure within themselves. Everything they erect uh, erodes or collapses upon them in an overt or covert fashion. And the thing is, when it comes to being the F-19 in charge, men, women, children, even animals will deem you not only unreliable, but certain individuals will deem you as food or a mark or a lick. We talk about the procreation part. Again, this is... Uh, for the internet weenies who are governed by their foreskin. These are the individuals who figure solving their problem is led by the wrong head. So they'll compromise any and everything that is meant to be masculine in order to scratch that itch. This is where the four T's come into play. Most of the time they waste their time. They find out the individual they lay with wasn't worth the time. The toll they pay is very hefty. Financial, emotional, physical. You got individuals running around here burning these streets because, again, we don't speak about or forewarn brothers about STDs and all the dangers pertaining. All we're worried about is if, you're, if it's tricking, if you got it, 
and all these mundane concepts that don't properly um, lead our brothers and the youth into a right direction, how to execute properly and minimize the danger that they're in. When it comes to piss poor problem solving, you have individuals who uh, promote pump and dump and then have the audacity, the unmitigated gall to complain about the very monsters they created. So again, let's be honest. With individuals who have piss poor problem solving in the in the field of procreation, we know a lot of guys out here are going out here raw dog. They're raw dog specialists. Uh, some don't even talk about get a vasectomy. They're just talking about shooting the club up. You know, f them kids. But in turn, you're the one that's in the line of fire because now you got renegade hookers out here who know that there's some guys who are slave to their foreskin and whenever she uh, sedates him in the way she does danger is nothing but a phone call or a text message away again in closing when it comes to being the head F-19 in charge there are people who know how to eliminate the problem that is you when you're a rugged individual, especially in this space and abroad, do understand that people have a plan for you. Some might be benign, others might be overt. This is where you get people who uh, promote the idea of revealing receipts, a term that was popularized by Lovely T, if we want to be honest. But see, instead of uh, spilling the tea, fellas as we should not be doing learn how to execute the four P's especially the key one which is problem solving that's the defender vine that lets you know whether you are a man who is a fixer who's a jack of all trades that knows how to handle situations and become reliable in the right ways and eliminate the stresses that we uh, deal with all day. Or you'll become a maggle, a male gynocrat, who if you watch nature shows, you see how the hyenas treat the males in there. Make that correlation online and off. And leave your uh, assessments in the comment section. So you have a choice. Do you wanna be a fixer? Or do you want to be the head F-19 in charge? Today's another day to make an honest, op honest opportunity and decision. What say you? And with that, never allow your comfort zone to become your coffin. And for all you uh, problem prone and ridden individuals, it always takes a punan it always takes a poo nanny to expose and control one. And I'm looking to minimize my use of curse words nowadays, but I just wanted to be nice since it was Sunday for a change. So salute to the A-Game family. Let me guys know what you think. And that's that for the um, problem solving series. Well, sorry. The problem solving aspect of the series. And, um, We'll talk later. Peace.